So many problems for Barcelona, meanwhile, Ali. Uh, Craig mentioned Griezmann, Dembele. Let's not forget, these are players that combined cost over 200 million euros, yet again, not stepping up when they need to. And there just seems to be issues all over the pitch. This is a side, let's not forget now, who conceded eight against Bayern Munich in their last knockout game in the Champions League, have now conceded four against PSG. And that's exactly it, Dan. It isn't just one thing for Barcelona. Yeah. And today, every facet of their flaws, those things you could see right then and there. They were put in evidence. Uh, the lack of athleticism throughout the field, but really in that defensive third, and Craig just alluded to it, not only PK, but Lengley, Busquets, the lack of athleticism through the midfield, the uh, coaching decision, PK you put in, I don't agree with that. I also don't agree with putting Serginho Des out there because he has not been be playing regularly for Barcelona. He has had his injury issues, and you put him out there again against Mbappe, isolated, 1v1. He's not getting help from Dembele. He's not tracking back defensively. You get exposed defensively the way that Barcelona did today. You also have to look at the midfield and the fact that Barcelona is a team that depends on possession, on controlling the pace of the game. Well, that pace was never in their favor today. It was PSG that was controlling the midfield. It was Berratti and it was Paredes that were controlling the midfield. It wasn't Barcelona. Their passing, which has always been the hallmark of their game, turnover after turnover through the midfield. And then, once you get to the final third, then you're depending on what Lionel Messi does. And if Lionel Messi is on the fringes, as Craig just alluded to, then they don't, they're not nearly as dangerous. Dembele, uh, ineffective. Griezmann, ineffective. Mm. Pedri, turnovers. Busquets, lack of athleticism. Frankie de Jong, he ran in behind for the penalty kick, but that was about it. Also ineffective in possession. All the flaws were there to be seen, and let's not forget about something that has been an oldie but a goodie for Barcelona. They cannot defend set pieces either. That's also a problem, and that was also evidence tonight. And Messi looks tired of... Yeah, I was going to say, what of, happens to Messi? Well, now? he looks... T I mean, look, we've talked about this, and I'm not saying this off the back of this performance, but clearly there'll be a clamber for Messi in the summer if his decision is to go, and mm. that's, that's where it's all pointing to at the moment. He's a free transfer <laughs> in terms of not paying a transfer fee for him, but, but his salary alone yep. is effectively almost like a transfer fee. But he'll be 34 by the time the new season starts, and you're not going to get that same player. You're, you're just not. And he looks tired of trying to drag this average Barcelona team over the end line. He looks to me like a, ma a player who knows the manager is a dead man walking and really is out his depth in this Barcelona job. And I think it's almost like a waiting game. or just waiting till it's all over. Yeah. You know, and he's playing like a player who's waiting in until it's over. But I, 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 know, I, I know there will be a clamber for him, but I, I don't think the clamber is in desperation like it was two or three years ago. Because I don't think you're going to get the same numbers out of them. I just, I just don't. And, and it's, it's mother nature. Mother nature catches up with you. And whilst you're going to still get a great player, you, you, I don't think you're going to get a player who is going to be able to change games. Change games where the team is not dominating like he once did. It, it's, just, it's just the body's way of telling you. And then you have to reinvent yourself. And in all fairness, that's what Ronaldo has done yeah. over the past two or three years at least, he's reinvented himself as a different kind of player. The question is, whatever Messi's decision is, is can he reinvent himself to be able to produce that magic? Maybe not as much as he was, but certainly still in fits and starts, wherever it is he goes if he does leave. And I just think, you know, if I'm Man City, or some, am I absolutely desperate to bring him in? No, I, I don't think I am, to uh, be quite frank. Last word on this, Frank, uh, to you. There's no way PSG can muck this up in the second leg, <laughs> is there? <laughs> well, uh, no, no, I don't think so. I mean, it, it, it was, it, it's been a possibility when they, they had a remontada, but they had to play the second leg in Barcelona in the new camp after winning, I think, 4-0. Uh, uh, I don't see them losing more than 4-0, you know, or 5-1 against Barcelona at home. Uh, I don't think even any Barcelona player uh, can believe that they can uh, return the situation in their advantage. Uh, no way uh, it can happen. Um, no way. I think they already they know that it's over. No way. No way. No, that's no, it. I, 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 I think it would be... 
on this form can they compete with no. Bayern Munich and Manchester was it, City? What was it? It was PSG capitulated against Barcelona yes. last time. Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. were talking about a, yeah, a, this is a, a properly good Barcelona. Yeah. This is not a good Barcelona side. Don't yeah. do not do not see it happening. Uh, but does this put PSG up there with Bayern and Manchester City? Yes. Oh, absolutely. They've got uh, they've got obviously Neymar to come back. They've shown they can win without him. Uh, Mbappe on that form is is going to cause problems to everybody. And they've got a guy in, in Pochettino, I think most people agree, he's a very good coach and the players are responding to him. So, yeah, absolutely, they are right up there. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.